Okay, this is a video write-up for the challenge Interference from TJCTF, the recent capture flag competition. Only 15 points, but not a whole lot of solves. I think a lot of people tripped up on this. It says, I was looking at some images, but I couldn't see them clearly. I think there is some interference. So let's go ahead and copy this link. This is a download. So I will wget this, and it is a zip file. So we can unzip that and work with the files just fine. We have a v1 and v2 PNG file. So let's check those out. v1.png is simply this, which we can zoom in on. And if I hit my right arrow key, you can see I'm also looking at v2. However, these are the exact same file, at least not the exact same file, but they are the exact same image. You can see as I'm hitting the arrow key, nothing is changing. So I'm curious what these things are or what they're really doing. Um, so I checked them out and I noticed that V2 is actually larger than V1. So I ran strings and exif tool and bin walk and the usual like low hanging fruit, but nothing came from it. I expected this to be like a two time pad or like an two images XORed together challenge, but because they are the exact same picture, that's clearly not the case. So something that I did just for trying to think, uh, I actually ran XXD on one of them, got just the printable portions of it. Raw, that's it? How does it do? Attack P, that's it. Okay, um, and I tried to cat that to like a one dot text, and same thing for a v2.png, I brought it to a two dot text, and I looked at that at an online differ just to try and find the differences, and it noticed that just about everything was different, like each of the pixels were slightly different, and I thought, what is going on? Is this some like steganography, like LSB, least significant bit thing? Um, but what I realized is that, well, if they're trying to hide more things in v2.png, there's got to be something in there that I'm not seeing. So I fired up GIMP, and they're both black and white pictures. So I was assuming, you know what this might be? This might very well be something trying to hide in the threshold of this image. So I can zoom in a little bit here. Let's run threshold, view the colors here, and you can see at the very, very edge, just barely, there is a big jump in the threshold of some of these characters, some of these colors and pixels here. So I view this right over here, and you can see it is a QR code. Okay, so I inverted the colors on this. Tried to, I didn't really clean this. I didn't, I didn't actually take any of the kind of mess or the noise around the sides. Um, you could do that if you wanted to give it to ZBar image and then have it process that on its own. You could do that in Paint manually if you really wanted to. Um, but thankfully my cell phone, I just use like a QR scanner and that got the flag pretty easily. If you run it in a QR code scanner, uh, this is the string that I finally got. TJCTF mixing and matching images is fun. And that is a flag you could submit for those, those points. So peculiar challenge, uh, just a lot of staring at it, kind of just banging my head against the wall until I figured something out. But finding that QR code was a huge epiphany and was like, okay, awesome. That's got to be the flag. So very, very cool. Submit that for some good points. All right. Hey, I want to give a shout out to the people that support me on Patreon. Thank you so much, guys. $1 a month on Patreon will give you a special shout out just like this at the end of every video. $5 a month on Patreon will give you early access to all of my videos before they are released on YouTube. If you did like this video, you want to see more CTF video write-ups, programming tutorials, other stuff that I do, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Join our Discord server for other players and hanging out with other really cool people on the CTF game and hackers and programmers, stuff like that. Link in the description. It'd be awesome to see you on Patreon, but it'll be awesome to see you in the next video. Thanks, guys. See ya.